KV Core is one of those CRMs that just has so many features for you to use. So one of the features that we're going to talk about in today's video is the mass email feature. I love this feature actually, I use it all the time because it's a great way to send out and schedule out in advance some very great email communication, whether it's asking for referrals, whether it's wishing them a happy 4th of July, or it's just sending out a monthly market update. It's a great way to stay in front of whichever part of your audience you would like. One made for just your buyers, your sellers, your past clients, or everyone in your contact list. So today's video, we are going to explore step-by-step step how you can create a mass email in KV Core. The KV Core homepage, which is where I am, and then from there on the left hand side, we are going to take a look at the marketing tab. I'm going to click on the marketing tab and just go to all marketing. From there, I'm going to scroll down to scheduled mass emails and click on get started. So what I'm going to do is click on schedule email. And what's great is you can really select as far out as you would like. So if I want this to go out next Thursday, and let's say I want it to go out at 9.30 in the morning. Actually, I have to schedule, oh, because the date's wrong. Sorry about that. So if I was to do it on the 14th and schedule it for 9.30 in the morning, from there, I can now begin my message. So I like to use the advanced editor. It is not that much more difficult and it really allows you to customize the professional appearance of whatever you're sending out. So I'm going to click on yes. Now from here, I'm going to enter a subject line. I'm sending this out to all of my past clients in Sphere who um, previously purchased or worked with me in some capacity and I'm going to say let's catch up and I'll show you why I'm spelling it like this <laughs> but it's great for readability someone will want to click it open um, because it's misspelled from here you have this content block now I like to put some sort of banner or picture so I'm going to go to the image and you can drag in any one of these buttons that you'd like. Feel free to play around with it. I'm going to drag over image. I'm going to look for an image and I'm going to place my banner up top. I like to do that for any of my newsletters that I send out or any of the mass email communications that I use. So for this one, because I'm wanting to catch up and talk with them, um, I also don't like the look when it is very narrow like this on the screen. I think that it looks more spammy. So I'm going to go over to the um, content area under settings. And you can play around with how wide you'd like it, how much of the actual computer space you'd like it to take up. I like it to be right around here, a little over halfway. That's just my personal preference. Now, the next step, you go back to content because we want to do stuff underneath this and write our email. So for this portion, I'm going to include some text. So I'm going to take the text button. You click it and drag it, by the way. You have to drag it, and you have to wait for it to highlight where it says drag it here, because if you don't, nothing's going to happen. So drag it here and let go. And now I can write some information. I really like to use a different font, so I'm going to go to this font, and I like it a little bit bigger for readability. Okay, I've already prepared something that I wrote, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and go right over here, and paste it. I also don't care so much for the gray, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it, and here is the font color. I'm going to click on it and do the black, and I'm also going to space the lines. You see how close together they are? 
again, for readability, what I like to do is I go over to line height and I just select the next one. I think it looks better. Now, I'm going to put just their first name. So if you want to put whatever first name it is of the person that is being mass emailed, all you have to do is in this little area right here, you're going to notice where it says merge tags. So let's click on merge tags and click on first name. And then we're going to put a comma. Let's adjust the color on that too because it defaulted to the gray. There we go. Now, at this point, let's say that is really, I've done with my writing, I'm done adding the image, but underneath I want to add another catchy image, and this is one I made in Canva, and it will explain why I put let's catch up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to content, okay, and I'm going to highlight image. Now you need to get it to the point where you can still see image, but you can see the bottom of this email. Otherwise you won't be able to drag it. So click it, drag it. All right, now I can enter whatever image I would like. I've already placed the one that I wanted for this video. I'm gonna insert this. Basically, it says, let's catch up. I'm here to help you with all your real estate needs. And this is what I want to do, I'm done. Now, at the very bottom, you're gonna notice a little item that says, include a signed agent signature. You're gonna want this selected on because it will include your, your signature at the bottom of it. Now, if all of this looks good, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is preview it and then send a test to yourself. So, this is what it would look like, and it would include the signature underneath. So what you can do is send a test and it will send it directly to your email where you can check it out. But for the purposes of this video, let's go ahead to the next port, point. Excuse me. So from here, they want to know who are we sending this email to? So for this one, because it's my, it's asking for referrals, I would like to go to everyone that I've had a closing with and I'd like it to go to my sphere. Now, what I have found is that once um, an individual has closed, eventually they go into your sphere after a certain amount of time. So this is the audience I wanna send it to. And once everything looks good, from here, you are going to, at that point, go to schedule. Schedule's the blue tab right here. And when you click it, which I'm not going to do because I've already created this email, it will schedule and send it at this date and time. Now what's really cool is let's say that you realize later you didn't include something or you want to edit something. You go back to your mass email section by going to marketing, all marketing, mass email, and then from here you have the edit and you can obviously edit from um, as long as it hasn't been sent already and that's really helpful so i hope that was a good tutorial for you on how to send mass emails through kv core and until next time please like and subscribe to see more content on similar topics